What's up, Airsofters? Lancer Systems is perhaps most well known for producing some of the coolest looking magazines in the real gun world. Their translucent polymer designs in a variety of awesome colors pair beautifully with metal feed lips on the real magazines, which beautifully accent as well as reliably feed whichever platform they're paired with. But what you might not know is that the extremely cool designers over at Lancer Systems also produce very, very sick looking ARs as well. The Lancer Systems L15. And now these beauties have been brought to the world of Airsoft. Airsofters, let me introduce you to the EMG licensed Lancer Systems L15 Defense AEGs. Excitingly, these rifles also show off some of Lancer Systems' accessories, like their incredibly cool handguards and their enhanced magwells. But more on that when we dive into the externals. Taking a look at the EMG Lancer Systems licensed L15 Defense AEGs, we'll see some immediate similarities between these and the real L15, on which these puppies are based. Starting at the front, we've got the real showpiece of these awesome AEGs, in my opinion. Lancer's LCH7 M-Lock handguard. It's available in three different material configurations. Real carbon fiber, faux carbon fiber, for a little bit of savings, and if you want the all black look, they've got an all black painted aluminum. It's also available in three lengths, eight, 12, and 15. There are M-Lock slots on the three, six, and nine positions, as well as on the 45s. So there really is no shortage of mounting options for any and every accessory you can choose to throw at these handguards. There's also a QD point on either side just in front of the receiver. A front hick rail is provided for the top as well as backup iron sights front and rear. But all of that additional information is really just secondary to the fact that yes, I did say you could get one of these bad boys with a real carbon fiber handguard. Cool and weight savings. Moving to the center, we're presented with a full aluminum alloy forged style AR receiver, complete with authentic licensed Lancer Systems L15 roll marks. And you'll notice the other really cool standout feature here, Lancer's adaptive magwell, which not only looks cool, but aids in faster, smoother magazine changes. The controls layout is a familiar one, albeit non-ambidextrous. The standard M4 AR-15 placement for the magazine release, the single-sided select fire switch, sweeping from safe, semi, all the way to through to full auto. And one feature I love is the locking dummy bolt with the functioning bolt release, making hop-up adjustments that much easier. I know it's a pretty standard feature on M4s now, but I love that it's here in addition to the other well-thought-out features. Ergonomics are pretty standard for an M4, but the inclusion of the EMG slimline polymer textured motor grip provides a nice touch of comfort and functional slip resistance as well as being slimmer and more true to a realistic width of pistol grip. I love that. Speaking of grip, the included magazines are, of course, the Lancer Systems L5 AWM magazines, which are not only very nicely textured and easy to hang on to, but they come with a really cool smoked translucent design. And most important of all, the red top signifies that these bad boys hold 250 rounds. That's a 250 round mid cap, out of the box, ready to go. Moving rearward, we've got a multi-position collapsible EMG Alpha stock, which is both ergonomic and lightweight. I like that it stays pretty compact for a crane style stock. Usually crane style stocks are a little bit wide, but you don't sacrifice battery storage space despite that slimmer profile. I think this is a really nice stock. It's easy to adjust. It doesn't make a whole lot of noise and it's compact. Out at the range, our FPS test showed an average of just about 380 FPS and about 16 rounds per second on full auto in the 8-inch configuration in the lineup. In our distance and accuracy test, the longest L15 defense, the 15-inch, was able to land 100% of the shots on our 6-inch plate and place a nice tight grouping on our marking target. Now this was, of course, at 50 feet. The shortest version, the 8-inch, performed equally well at that same distance. Out at the 100 foot mark, we really started to see the differences in barrel length performance. The 15 inch model was able to land about 80% of its hits on the six inch plate and placed a decent sized grouping on the marking target. The eight inch struggled a bit with about 50% of the shots hitting the six inch plate and a larger spread on our marking target. 
Now these performance figures can of course be improved with an upgraded pop-up unit, bucking, and nub, all of which are available on our website. These parts along with an upgraded barrel would certainly net you an improved accuracy at distance. These replica Lancer Systems L15 Defense AEGs are just as impressive on the inside as they are on the outside. This model has a quick change spring guide, which is accessible without fully removing the gearbox. To access it, simply remove the buffer tube and use a flathead screwdriver, slightly push in, and rotate the ball bearing spring guide to remove it. The hop-up chamber is a rotary design, and the barrel, bucking, and chamber are all standard spec, meaning you can swap out all these parts with standard aftermarket upgrades without any issues. The gearbox shell is standard version 2, and features an inline MOSFET visible at the back of the gearbox, and a micro switch trigger system. One great feature here is that the wiring is internally routed and glued in place, meaning no wires being snagged when adjusting your motor. You'll also notice that the wiring is terminated in a Dean's style connector. Excellent. The motor is very good, being a King Arms blue, high torque, slim type motor with a D type pinion. This motor spins 18 to 1 ratio King Arms gears on 8mm bearings. The compression components are as follows. The piston is polycarbonate with a full metal rack, second tooth removed, and a polymer ported piston head. The cylinder is ported, the cylinder head is polymer, and the nozzle is polymer with no O-ring. Compression out of the box is very impressive thanks to more precise tolerances. These replicas run great out of the box, but they're also widely accepting of just about any version 2 upgrade you can think of, making them both excellent for beginners and for experts who want to push their builds to the limit. new Lancer Systems L15 Defense AEGs are every bit as gorgeous and high performing as their real life counterparts. And at any of the three lengths with either the all black faux carbon fiber or real carbon fiber, these are a definite add to your airsoft arsenal. And you can get them right here at evic.com. Now personally, based off of weight savings and cool factor alone, I'd choose the real freaking carbon fiber. Duh. Thanks for watching. See you later.